This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. I'm on the phones for you arena today in Manchester on the Matchroom Sport card. With me, I've got the big man AJ. And Joshua, what's happening, mate? Feeling good. Just finished the job, uh, finished off stretching, got my shake down me and um, back to the press conference. But I had to get a chat with you guys first. I like that, I like that. Constantine Ulrich strategically took him apart and pretty much battered him around the ring for a couple of rounds, three rounds indeed. A um, lot of respect for him. He was tough. I honestly thought he was going to go the, uh, the distance. He didn't want to give up, did he? And i got to respect that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, mm. He could take a lot. He's got a solid head, solid hands. Um, but I enjoyed it. You know, I don't put myself under no, underneath no pressure. Um, the guy I'm fighting next beat him. Dennis backed off. Dennis backed off. So mm. um, it was a good indication of what I'll be up for next. Took him the distance as well, I believe. Yeah, I, I never judge a video, uh, a YouTube video. Um, stars make fights. You know, so maybe he'd give me more t uh, problems than he gave Ar Archie, is it? Uh, Constantine Ulrich. Yeah, maybe he'll give me more uh, problems or maybe it'll be easier. Mm -hmm. But um, and that's what I said, until the first bell goes, you never know the outcome. First time we're going into the third round as well, so you've got to give Constantine Ulrich credit for that. Most definitely. It's only going to get tougher, you know. Um, th the more I fight, the tougher it's going to get. So you're going to see me probably next time maybe in a four round fight, in a five round, so on and so forth. But mm -hmm. I felt good mentally. After, when it got to the second round, I thought, you know what, this could go the distance here. So I prepared myself for, for a long night, but I caught him with a nice shot. And uh, there's no overtime in boxing, so I got him out there ASAP. As much of a nice guy you are outside the ring, inside the ring, you've got that brutal instinct to know when to end the fight and to know when to step up and go through the gears, isn't it? Yeah, man. I think every fighter gets that instinct. Every fight. You're in the gym day in, day out. Um, you study other fighters and you just pick up what they've done. So I watch all the guys that have done it before me. And, I'm just following in their footsteps. Of course. Uh, notably, Tyson Fury was at the fight today. Yeah, you I saw him, Fury, yeah. You I and him Fury. potentially one day could have a massive, massive domestic scrap. Yeah, it's quite interesting because a few months ago it was that. about me and Huey Fury. So it shows wow. that I'm progressing and now they're yeah. saying me and Tyson Fury. So hopefully one day they'll be saying me for the WBC title. Indeed. Little bit on the Klitschko's. How, how helpful was that training camp and sparring camp? Uh, this camp? It's interesting because he's a league above, but everything I learned now I'm trying to do now. So it's like it's trial and error in these fights. I was trying a few things in, in the ring. So it could work. It, it might not have worked. Today it worked. Um, but it's about developing. It's going to take time. One training camp with the Klitschko's isn't going to mold me uh, as a fighter for life. But what it done, it gave me valuable experience. And if they need me again, be more than willing to fly out there, get some sparring under my belt with them. And um, I think the more I spar with top level fighters, the better I'm going to become. Mm -hmm. So the once was about experience, the more I do it will start moulding me as a better fighter. Do you think as well as getting the rounds under the bank, the key is bringing these top, top sparring partners in and paying the money for camps and just getting the experience when you, as and when you need it? Yeah, most definitely. I think that the more I box, the more things are going to the more mistakes I make, the more things I'm going to correct. Even even in victory, you need to make corrections. So the more I box, the better I'll get. And uh, yeah, sparring partners are key. Just like my road work, I do whatever, 40 minute runs. I need to start doing 45 minute runs. I do 10 press ups and you start doing 12. So everything needs to change. You can't do the same thing over and over again. Do you know what I liked? After a great victory today, most heavyweights would have been probably talking amongst their team or maybe going for a Nando's or whatever it is they do. I saw you do near on a 40 minute stretch. Yeah, man. So um, that just shows the professionalism of, of your character and your nature. So yeah, and because at the end of the day, I, as I said, I'll give my best. And wherever that gets me, I'll be happy. You know, I'm not claiming to be anything. I'm just claiming to give my best. That's it. So whatever, whatever happens, it happens, isn't it? All right, well, listen, first title shot coming up against Dennis Baktov. Yeah. How confident are you of A, winning that title and B, maybe continuing this KO streak? Let's catch up during camp next time and I'll let you know how I'm feeling. Can't argue with that. Yeah. Anthony, thanks for your time today. And I want to say shout out to everyone that's supporting and buying the AJ caps. You know, I see loads of people rocking them at the fight. They're showing me support. Okay. Uh, Where Bru can we Bru purchase AJ caps, just so we know? Um, Bruno thinks that I can get them out of my bag or just out of my room. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> all, all you got to do is, is www.ajboxing.com. Everyone knows. Boom, baby! <laughs> everyone knows except for Bruno. <laughs> Listen, I've got two now. I've got two. Who knows? Got two now. He's sorted. He's sorted for a couple of weeks. Shut up. Thank you very much.